Iran's Uevs have been among the most valuable symbols of the growth and development of the country's defense industry, which has established its position in the defensive and offensive strategies and operations against the enemy in the West Asian region. In recent years, Iran's drone capability has been accompanied by a significant leap by focusing on the two elements of quantity and quality of drones and arming them with precision-guided bombs and missiles in a way that Western study centers consider Iran as one of the top five countries in the world in the field of combat drones. The FATRO's long-range drone is one of the most important achievements in this regard. Features FATROS is a reconnaissance and combat drone unveiled on August 21, 2020, in Isfahan, and handed to the IRGC's ground force. FATROS is the largest to have made in Iran, with a wingspan of 16 meters, a flight duration of 16 to 30 hours, and an operational range of 1,700 to 2,000 kilometers, of course, these two depend on the amount and number of missiles carried by the drone. The range of this drone is about 4,000 km, and the speed is about 250 km per hour. This UAV is also equipped with fuel tanks with a capacity of 350 kg inside its fuselage and wings, which can be increased to 450 kg. Monitoring of sea and land borders, monitoring oil pipelines, telecommunications, road traffic control, surveillance of earthquake, fire, and flood areas, environmental protection, and sending detailed videos and photos throughout missions are among the capabilities of FATROS. It can play its role for more than a day hundreds of kilometers away from Iran's water borders to monitor the movement of surface and submarine vessels, the role of the P-3F patrol aircraft today, as well as to send early warnings to the enemy fleet, it can rush to the aid of naval fleets in the east and west of the Indian Ocean if necessary. The drone also has the ability to record video and aerial photography and send live, real-time images and the ability to record images at the ground control station, the ability to plan a round trip, perform missions on a computer, relying on autopilot and internal navigation systems, such as GPS INS, and constantly sending flight information. The drone has a higher capability than the American General Atomics MQ-1 Predator, while FATRO's flight duration is between 16 to 30 hours, the MQ-1 flight duration is 24 hours. The special capabilities of the FATRO UAV include the ability to film and take aerial photos and send live images, the ability to plan a round trip, the use of autopilot, and the constant sending of flight information. One of the items considered in the UAV exhibition of the Ministry of Defense on August 21, 2020, on the Defense Industry Day, was the construction of the second model of the FATROS drone. One of the highlights of the new FATROS was the upgrade of the fixed to retractable landing gear, which reduced the drone's drag force and improved engine performance. Another point that can be deduced from the images published from the Ministry of Defense UAV exhibition about this drone is the significant increase in firepower compared to the past. Previously, FATROS was equipped with two laser-guided Keem-114 missiles. Still, during the Defense Industry Day ceremony, the number of weapons carried by this large UAV increased to six, and a variety of weapons were observed, including vertical bombs and anti-tank missiles, in addition to increasing combat capability, this leads to increasing its operational flexibility in dealing with various targets.
In the new images, under each wing of the drone, a wide range of chem optical guidance bombs and a new top attack anti-tank missile, made by the Ministry of Defense, are installed on this drone using two hardpoints of weapons installation. In fact, the drone carries a keem bomb under each wing and two top attack anti-tank missiles, for a total of two keem bombs and four anti-tank missiles on both wings. A distinctive feature of top attack missiles, from which their name derives, is the attack on tanks and armor from the top, because tanks and armored vehicles usually have weaker armor protection at the top, and attacking from above will make them vulnerable anti-tank missiles.